Let's talk about subnetting. What's subnetting? Subnetting is networks in network. Why this happens? Because if you check here, in those IP addresses, look, uh, for example, in class A, in class A, we have three portions in host portion, right? So, and look here, how many bits we have in host portion, 24 bits, right? Because we have three octets, each octet is eight bits. So now we have three formulas. First formula, network formula. F to the power N. N is number of bits which you have in network portion, okay? This is first formula. Second formula, to calculate hosts, you have to the power of N H, number of bits in host portion, that is, Total, total number of hosts. This is the formula. And we have another formula, usable addresses. Host IP addresses. And here is the following formula. Two, the power of and H minus two. Okay. And now you are asking here in these previous two formulas, we have just to the power of N or to the power of N H, but here we are V minus two because of special IP addresses. And remember, guys, we have three types of special addresses. We have network address, network IP address. We have broadcast address, IP address. And we have usable IP addresses, or is, and we can say assignable IP addresses, IP addresses, every network. Or look here, when I said network IP addresses, a network IP address, we can say network ID, absolutely the same thing. When you, face when you uh, see network ID, that is absolutely the same thing. Network IP address and network ID, same thing, identical meanings, okay, clear? Now, in all computers, in same group, in same area, must have same portions, same octets, or same network portion. But host portion must be unique. So that's why network IP address, indicates, um, uh, network ID indicates the group of computers, clear? And yes. look, uh, for example, 
I give you this IP address, let's say 200.7.56.194. For example, can you tell me which parts are in network portion in this IP address? Who can tell me in which class? First of all, in which class this IP address? Uh, class B. Why? Because uh, it starts at 200. Who can, who, huh? No, this is 200. Class C. Yes, of course, class C. I'll look here. Look. Class C falls between in, in this range, that is class C. So, and immediately in class C, who can tell me subnet mask, default subnet mask? 255, 255, 255, and zero. Absolutely right. And the host is the zero and the network is the 255s. Just a second, yeah. 255, 255.0. Yeah, these three octets indicate network portion, okay? So this means that IP address 200.7.56.194 those portions are network portion. Oh, what's, what's, yeah, zero. So that portion is in network portion, right? Oh, sorry, this portion is in host portion, uh, host portion, network, and then very last IP address is broadcast address. Then we go in class C. Then we have after zero, we have that one, then that two, that three, that four, up to 255. And 255 is broadcast address. Okay, let me type here. 207.256.255. So look here, V minus two in this formula, usable host IP addresses, because we cannot assign network address, which is very first address, and we cannot assign very last address to the host because that address is broadcast address. So that's why in our formula, V minus two. And we will get usable host IP addresses. Clear? But when, I'm, when I will ask you, please tell me total number of hosts then you have to include even the zero very first address and very last address. Okay, don't, don't mix. This will be tricky question, but uh, you will understand the meaning because we are networkers and always in our life as a networkers and you, when you start working in the field and you will know that uh, you will use uh, right terminology. This will uh, demonstrate to others your professionalism. Understand me? Okay. Always try to demonstrate that we are networkers. <clears throat> now it's almost 10 o'clock. Before I start explaining the uh, lesson, let's 
uh, let's um, take maximum 10 minutes break. When you come back, we'll start subletting.